Hello everyone. Today we will have a demo of Siemens S7-200 Smart Test with O.CN8032L, the Profinet adapter. First we need to download the GSD file of CN8032L and programming software of S7-200 Smart, the Step 7 MicroWin Smart. The version of the software must be version 2.4 or above it, if not and it will not support Profinet protocol. The software version in this demo is version 2.4 and CPU is SC30. The protocol adapter is CN8032L. Now we open the software. And click the communications and select the network interface connected to our devices, then click find CPUs. This could find the CPUs connected to our devices. So we could view the IP address of our CPU is 192.168.0.10. Then we need to set the IP address segment of our PC same with the PLC CPU. Now we click Open Network and Sharing Center. Click the Local Connections and select Properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4 and set our IP address. Here we only need to set the segment same with the CPU and set the IP address we wanted. Click OK and finish the setting. Now our PC is in the same network segment of the PLC. Next we will install the GSD file. Select GSD ML Management. Click Browse and find our GSD file. And click Open. The status is OK and we click OK to finish the installation. Now we are back to the software interface and select Tools then select Find Profinet Devices. Select the network interface connected to our devices and click Find Devices. Now we can see the adapter CN8032L we need to connect, and please note the device name is very important. The name now is CN8032-1 and we can also click at it to set the name we wanted. For example, let us set it into CN8032A and copy it for later use, then click Set. Now we can see the new name CN8032A and click Close. Back to the interface, we need to select Profinet and start the configuration. Select Profinet Controller and click Next. Now we need to set the IP address of our CPU same as 192.168.0.10. Here we can see the installed GSD file of CN8032L. If it failed or GSD file not installed and it will be empty here, then we need to reinstall the GSD file. Now we select CN8032L then click Add. Now we paste the new device name and set the IP address we wanted.
but it should be in the same network segment of CPU. Now we have finished the configuration of CN8032L and click Next. Here it could configure the I.O. modules carried by adapter. Now it could view all the Xtene I.O. modules here. In this demo we use CT121F, CT222F and one analog module. Please note, when we select the modules, it needs to be added according to prompt box in green. It needs to add modules in squints and no blank in the middle like this. It needs to be filled one by one otherwise there will be error report. Then click next and we can set detailed parameters for modules here. In this video, we configure it as the default parameters. After configuration, we can click Generate and click OK. Now the configuration of CN8032L and I.O. modules has been finished. Then let us download it and click Download to confirm the CPI. And click OK and Download. Now we can see status of the CPU and CN8032L. The red LEDs are flashing as it is establishing the connection, we need to wait. Now all the green LEDs are flashing and the connection is successful. Next we will have a simple test. In the tools tree we can click Profinit and see the I.O. details. Click CN8032L and it could view all the address allocated to each module. Now we check CT121F the 16DI module and its start address is 128 and lasts for 2 bytes. Then we check CT222F, the 16 do module, and its start address is also 128 and lasts for 2 bytes. We can use the CT222F to have a simple demo test, and it begins with address 128 and 2 bytes is one word. Close it and let us create a simple program. We can force one in the first program scanning period and set QW128. And in each second we can set a recyclable shift, then we can check its work status to know if the iOS are working properly. Now we have finished the programming and we download it. Now the download is successful and we wait for its connection. Now we can see CT222F, the 16 do module, it begins to shift in sequence with its LED flashing status. Now we have finished our test, thank you.